We just saw the Beckley house, but more has changed since 1912 than just refrigerators and shoes. This house right here is the townside house. It's from Henderson. Henderson was started in 1942 in the middle of World War II, so this is what people lived in during World War II here. If we walk over here, you can see the motor court cabin. That's the green building back here. Motor courts were what we had to stay in before we had motels. And after World War II, a lot of people came in here and we didn't have enough houses for them. So we have a trailer here that's from 1947. And that's all been restored. You can look inside and see how people lived when they had to, when they had to live in a trailer. A lot of times in our area, people came in where there wasn't enough housing at various times. So they would live in various kinds of things. The next building here is a reproduction of a turn-of-the-century print shop. It's not actually as old as it looks. We made it look old, but the printing material inside, the printing machines, are all quite old. Let's take a look inside. And the cash register and an adding machine, but because this was a print shop, of course, we have all the printing equipment here as well. We walk over here. This is a paper cutter, and you can imagine you don't want to put your fingers in there because this thing will cut that much paper. So your hand is not going to survive. That's why we keep this down and we have it marked off so people don't play with this one. This was a folder. You know, newspapers get folded up and this was a machine that folded it up for them. So they didn't have to do it themselves. They could put the papers in here, it would fold it into the quarters and then it was ready to go out. This is a proof press. This one right here. Now a proof press would give you just a, a single page and let you know whether or not your press was, your, your layout was correct, your words were right, and you didn't have any typos in that in it. The switch looks like a light switch. It does. Well this was modified and it was actually used up into the 1960s. So it was modified to run off of electricity, but originally it didn't. Originally it was done by hand or by uh, steam power, that's why you had the large wheel on the side. You've got the big printing press. This one's circa about 1890. This is a Babcock press. And you don't want to touch this because even though it hasn't been used for 50 years, the ink is still wet in it. And if, yeah, if you touch it, you'll come back with black fingers. This one is called an intertype. It's a type of a linotype machine which this is very important in the history of printing because with using one of these, you could sit down at the keyboard here and type up what you needed and it actually cast the individual letters and spaces that you needed. So this was a much faster way of doing it, but it was something that you had to really learn because you were also working with hot pots of lead. These things worked very well. They were used all over the world as a way of setting up for printing uh, newspapers, books, just about anything. So what do those look like in headlines? Well, I can show you those. We have some over here on the wall. And these are newspapers from around the county. This is when they dedicated Hoover Dam. It was originally named Hoover Dam. Then when Herbert Hoover went out of office, they changed the name to Boulder Dam, and then they brought it back to Hoover Dam in 1947. So it went back and forth, but both names are right on it. Las Vegas isn't that big an area, but all of Clark County is over 8,000 square miles. Clark County is actually larger than New Jersey, the state of New Jersey. It's actually larger than the country of Israel. Clark County alone? Clark County alone. So it's a big place and we cover all of that. What I learned is that Israel is a very small country. <laughs> or Clark County is a really large county. I think I might have nightmares of that paper cutter. Coming up next, a car that every kid on the block could envy back in 1959. Hey, Dad, want to take me to school in this? 